Hey YouTube, it's Hey Care, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get the most out of your Windows 11 computer and how to make it run blazingly fast. I'm going to go over all the steps and as well as what I recommend if you're running Windows 11. The first thing I want to start off with is hardware. I recommend if you're running Windows 11 in 2021 is that you run this on a solid state drive. They're way faster than mechanical drives you're going to get a big performance boost by running off a solid state drive. If you need a solid state drive, they're available, they've gone down in price. I've got a terabyte solid state drive on my computer, it's only $200, which was worth it. And you can always do a search online on a site like Newegg. I write SSD in here. And in here you can buy yourself a solid state drive. They're much faster than uh, mechanical hard drives. I even have a video on how you can clone your entire operating system onto a new uh, solid state drive if you check my video out with a Cronus True Image. That way you don't lose all your files and you can actually have your system back up and running and you can basically transfer all your data off your old hard drive onto a new solid state drive and still keep all your files and stuff. So check out that video that I have in my uh, YouTube channel on how to clone your hard drive or SSD drive with a Cronus True Image. Anyhow that is one important step that I recommend and for RAM I recommend you have at least 8 gigabytes of RAM or more. I know this is information that uh, might not be useful to more uh, computers that are more advanced but it's because I see people running Windows operating systems with real RAM or a solid, no, no solid state drive is one reason why Windows runs so slowly. So by upgrading your hardware it's a big performance increase. I just had to get that out of the way and from the desktop I'm going to show you some steps you can take to ensure that Windows 11 will run as fast as possible. We're going to disable unnecessary services, unnecessary startup programs. We're going to run utilities such as CC Cleaner, uh, Desk Cleanup, Desk Defragmenter. Uh, we're going to uh, optimize some settings in Windows to make it run as fast as possible. So the first thing I would recommend anybody doing is to come down to the bottom of the uh, you can call it the start button or the windows logo button you can right click and you'll get a task manager option here in task manager come down to startup and in here you're gonna see all the programs that run when windows starts the fastest thing you can do if you want your computer to run faster is to shut these startup programs all off because the last programs windows has to use when you boot up your computer, the faster the boot process is, and if you definitely have a mechanical drive, this will save you, save a lot of speed. So disable all the startup programs, and maybe only keep uh, your antivirus software running when Windows starts. But uh by disabling startup programs it will uh, easily help your performance on Windows 11. You can easily do this by clicking on one of these and then down here you can enable or disable them. So that's one thing. You can then exit out of the task manager and the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the control panel. So to get to the control panel you, there's a search thing right here. Just write control panel and it comes up we're going to go into control panel and we're going to look at uh, hardware and sound and click power options and here it will be on balance recommended I choose recommend choosing high performance that will give the computer some more energy to work with you can now exit out of that window and another thing you can do to make Windows 10 I mean Windows 11 run fast is shut Windows Defender off. This is an optional step if you're a technical guy like me that doesn't get a lot of malware or spyware. I shut Windows Defender off to gain back performance. To do so, you can uh, 
do I search for uh, Windows Defender? Actually, it's probably better to do it this way. One second. I think it will come up here, right? Windows Security in here. Yeah, Windows Security. If you write Windows Security, you'll have this one right here. And in here, you can go into Threat Protection. It will be turned on for most. I've had mine turned off. And you can uh, disable real-time protection from Windows Defender, and that will help your computer run faster. This is an optional step. This is not going to protect your computer further. It this is things you can do to make Windows run faster. So I'm just going to close out of that. And another step you can do is you can try to decrease some of the visual effects in Windows 10 or Windows 11. And uh, the best way to do this would probably be to right click down here. Go into system. Actually it might not be in here. I may have to find another way to do it. Oh advanced system settings right here. There's a link. And then here you have a performance section right here. You can click on settings. And adjust for best performance. Then click apply. Click OK. Click OK again. And that will address Windows for best performance. It still looks pretty nice. I don't see the taskbar has changed or anything. But it helps in terms of performance wise. Another thing you can do to make Windows 11 run faster. Is you can go into services. And in here we're looking for a Windows search. Let me find it. Actually, I might not have it in Windows 11. I don't think it does. In Windows 10, it had it, and you could have shut it off to gain back performance. Windows 11 doesn't appear to have it for whatever reason, so you don't have to do any of that. So just exit out of the services window. Um, let's see some other things you can commonly do to ensure that Windows 11 will run faster. Is commonly run disk cleanup. You can get to it by writing disk cleanup here. This will open up your uh, disk cleanup utility window. You can click OK. Uh, you can remove unnecessary, unnecessary files. You can do a further one by clicking uh, System Files. The more you run disk cleanup utility, the faster your computer will go. And uh, it's really good if you're trying to uh, free up some space on your hard drive or even make Windows run faster. Just run disk cleanup utility. This will uh, remove some unnecessary files off your computer and another program you can download is CC Cleaner, it's free it's by running this it will help you actually with your performance by running cleans. It even offers a registry cleaner which I occasionally will run on my computer. These programs are all free by the way to download. The links for these are in the description box of the video. You can re you can use it to repair registry keys. And fix all selected keys. Another um, let me think of another way we can make Windows 11 run faster. Because 
All right, yeah. So uh, let's just go on to malware removing, I guess, in case you have malware on your computer. I recommend uh, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware and ADW Cleaner. You can get these programs for free. So do a search for Malwarebytes. Download the free trial. And we'll run it. Install malware bytes. And also do a search for ADW Cleaner. It's made by malware bytes, so get it off their site. I'm going to have the link for all these programs in the description box of the video if you need it. So run a scan first with ADW Cleaner. It's going to be a very fast scan, especially if you're on an SSD drive. I have nothing on my system because I keep it nice and clean. Then go ahead and run Malwarebytes next. We'll have to give it your email for the free trial. Click on scan and run a scan with malware bytes. Just to see if you have any malware because that could be slowing down your system. So I'm just trying to think of more ways I can make Windows 11 run fast because I know a lot of ways it's just not all coming into my brain right now. But it might in a minute. I think if you use Google Chrome and you're getting a lot of ads, but I'll show you why this may be. So open up Google Chrome. Go into this little button up here. Come down into uh, where it says uh, more tools. Come down to where it says extensions. And in here, look for any unnecessary extensions, maybe that you never remembered installing. Because there's going to be actually such thing as malicious extensions or extensions that you may have installed that will be causing ads and pop-ups on your computer. And you can easily remove any unnecessary extensions that you don't recognize. These ones, I think, the Chrome apps are like the docs and streets and slides. These ones down here, these free ones, are installed by Google Chrome by default. They're harmless. You can keep them on there. These ones up here, I've installed myself. But if you see an extension that you don't remember installing, it might be something that you cannot get rid of and stuff like that. So I actually found uh, something which is nice. Malwarebytes has found a PUP bundle installer, which is nice that it's found. So we have a demonstration of what happens when Malwarebytes actually finds something on here, which is nice. So I'm just going to go into quarantine and click done. And uh, that has removed uh, and quarantined those threats off the computer. So you can see Malwarebytes is actually useful at detecting things. And the full version, I'm not sure how much it is, but it's worth it. Alright, so another thing you can do on Windows 11 is on remove programs that you don't use it, that you're not using anymore. To uninstall a program, go down to the search box and write add and remove. Maybe it won't come up. Or maybe write uninstall a program. Oh, add and remove programs comes up if you write uh, add and remove programs. So yeah, you can see here, it comes up right here, add and remove programs. And in here, you can uninstall programs in which you don't use to gain back space and performance of your computer. is nice and uh, I'm trying to think of what else we can do if you have a mechanical hard drive if you right click 
if you click actually go right to here where file explorer is go into this pc and find your c drive this is for mechanical hard drives only which i don't recommend these days to run right click go into properties go into tools and run the disk the fragmenter down here you can also use the error error checking say you need to check your drive for errors you can also do that, but you can click optimize. This is a solid state drive. I don't really need to run a defragmenter on a solid state drive. But if you have a mechanical hard drive, this might be useful in here to run this every now and then. And uh, there's not much else I can think of other than maintaining the computer, keeping it up to speed. If you really want to actually... Uh, performance wise I show you another optional step hit the Windows key hit R right M S C config when the system configuration utility opens click services and hide all Microsoft services and in here disable all the services that are not from Microsoft but if you are using Malwarebytes let's keep that running but uh VMware workstation I'm using. I'm not sure if that's going to affect, uh, it might affect my use of my virtual machine so I won't um, disable unnecessary services and this is something that you shouldn't do really to be honest with you unless you're desperate to free up space because these services might be required to function these different programs on your computer like if I disable Google updates I may no longer get updates from Google but uh, these are just um, there's desperate steps you can do, which I don't recommend. Uh, exit without restarting, and you'll be at your desktop still. So that is um, some of the ways that we can uh, make Windows 10 run fast as possible. I'm not sure if I'm missing any steps or not, but I'm going to end the video now. And if you enjoy my videos, remember to comment, write, and subscribe.